What up? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here. I am back with the general reading for today. I got carried away on the last video of complaining and I'm not even sure if I'm going to post it, but I'm going to definitely give this reading. I'm going to be reading some of it out of books because I think that the messages need to be read out of a book, but, um, but I'm also going to channel and give it to you intuitively also. So please enjoy. Let's get started. This is just a general reading. See what comes up. See what we need to know. So the first card I pulled is the Nine of Beetles. And with this card I get, It is time to enjoy the finer things in life as you benefit from your investments financially and emotionally. This is a time of security and protection when you can indulge in a little luxury. You feel happy and content in your surroundings. This card can also show a helpful financially independent woman. So maybe an independent financial or financially independent woman is going to come in and help you out. Wouldn't that be nice? I know I could use that. Um, the next card I have is going to be, give me one second so I can pull it up. There's a couple of decks that I use that I'm not, you know, super familiar with. And um, so I'm definitely um, going to use a little help out of my books. So you just got to give me a minute to definitely find what I'm looking for. Some of them are easy to find. Some of them are hard to find. But, you know, you know how it goes, I'm sure. Okay, is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles signifies material and spiritual abundance in nearly every area of your life. The number 10 usually indicates completion, and in this case, the journey was well worth it. So be generous, not only with your money, but also with your wisdom. Provide guidance to those who struggle. You will be rewarded tenfold. So like I always say, we need to share our experiences, our, you know, our ups, our downs, our side to sides with the world. People need, you know, to, um, to know that other people struggle in the way that they struggle and so on and so on. So definitely, you know, if you are financially well off and you're able to help somebody that isn't, you know, definitely try and do that. If you are, you know, have a lot of wisdom in something, always share your wisdom. Please always share your wisdom. So the next card I pulled is hope is the conduct of miracles. So we need to all, you know, allow hope in our life, you know, always have faith and, you know, just know that all our hopes and our dreams will eventually come true as long as we believe they're going to. I have yeehaw. When it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. So make sure that, you know, if you're you're seeking out love, you're seeking out somebody to share your life with, that, you know, they bring that yeehaw effect to your life, that they kind of, you know, have that yeehaw in their step and in their, you know, personality and and everything that they do and bring you. So that's a really cool quality. Um, the next card I have is travel. Let every aspect of this travel unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the lands as they are shown. So if you are planning to, to travel, if you are wanting to travel, go for it, you know. Um, let this travel that you are wishing to do or hoping to do or in the process of doing, you know, bring that, you know, all the harmony and all the, the grace and all the good things that, you know, traveling does bring us. I love to travel. I mean, if I could travel for like a living, like seriously, I would do that. I mean, I'd, I'd love to go to new places. I love to meet new people. I, I love to experience what you know, each state, each town. I wish I, I've never been to a different country. Well, I mean, I get, I've been to Mexico, so I guess, you know, but, but that's the furthest, furthest I've ever been. But um, I sure would love to travel. I, I would do anything to go like to the Eiffel Tower 
and experience all of that beauty and all of that excitement and that's my dream one day hopefully I'll be able to make it come true not hopefully I will make it come true I have regret I know that I cannot change the past so we all um, have things in our life that we have regret towards things you know actions that we have taken um, things that we have done uh, just anything that that makes us feel regret we all have had that experience we have all felt that deep regret and the 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 secret to regret is to definitely allow yourself to feel that regret to acknowledge it but then to heal from it and then to release it so we don't want to walk around with all this regret building up on our shoulders and just on and on and on so the next card I have is going to be the seven of bees and this is out of my steampunk tarot the Victorian deck and I'd like to read these out of here so um, what I say the seven the seven shows a lack of trust as you sense that something may be taken from you rather than appreciate your hard won process you must spend uh, precious time and energy protecting yourself from a devious opponent on a mundane level this card asks you to guard your possessions and beware of insinc insincerities so if you are a person that um, maybe has acquired some wealth um, in a hard you know one battle or just you know any any type of like property or anything like that just know that there are a lot of insincere people that they will say and do a lot of things to get what you have and unfortunately that is how the world works um, me you know myself I have it has taken me 44 years to be able to see that about people to understand that about people and to to acknowledge that you know there are people out there that will lie cheat and steal to get what you want and unfortunately um, sometimes we have to protect ourselves from those people and um, not believe, you know, every Dick and Jane that comes in with all their promises and, you know, their loves and all that stuff. Because people will, can pretend for years and years that they love you and not have one ounce of love for you. They have, they love what you have. So just, you know, make sure that you're guarding your possessions and that you're really um, getting to know people before you're jumping into anything or you know, um, before you're allowing anybody to have possession of any of your, your hard-earned earnings or possessions and stuff like that. So just be aware of that. The next card I pulled is the Daughter of Swords. The Daughter of Swords is a young woman who honestly and insights take her far in life. People truly value her frankness. She learns from keen observation it almost seems as though she never stops watching. Sometimes this becomes a burden for her as she can't help noticing this or that small detail that could have, have, could have been done better. There's a potential for her to hold on to those experiences and become spiteful and judgmental. So there's nothing wrong with being this daughter of swords. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having frankness towards life. You know, sometimes life teaches us that. Definitely, but don't become that spiteful person. Don't you know? Don't allow all the little things and all the just tedious things that people do each and every day to make you a spiteful person. Because honestly, we're going to experience stuff like that our whole life, and really, it's it, it's only going to weigh you down. It's only going to make you into something that you don't want to be. And so, you know, try to avoid that definitely. The next card I pulled is Three of Cups Reunion. So you can expect a reunion with someone or something um, in the near future. Maybe you've been wanting a reunion with maybe a loved one, maybe with a family member, um, maybe with, you know, a person that you want to, to have more of a, a romantic relationship with, friendships. Um, definitely, if you have gained anything in your life, you have, you know, come into some money, you have gained some properties, um, any type of material things, beware of people wanting to have that reunion with you 
because you need to ask yourself why why now why did why does this person want to be in my life now is it really because of me is it really because they have you know changed and learned from their mistakes or is it because of what i now possess so just be wary of people that are wanting to come back for your reunion not saying that they're all bad i don't want to say that about people um because there there might be some some sincere people just take your time you know um don't believe everything that everybody tells you. Don't, you know, take their word on everything. Make them prove it to you. Make, And I'm not saying, you know, be a hard ass and be like, well, you got to prove everything to me, so whatever. I'm not going to believe this and believe that. No. You know, you go with the flow. You get to know somebody. You you spend time with them. You, you watch. You are the daughter of swords. You're watching every move they're making. You know, everything they're saying, you know, and decisions. And, you know, make them really show and prove to you that you are the person that they want in their life or they want your friendship or they you know it's a family member that really feels bad because you had this falling out but be very weary of people i'm getting that throughout this reading obstacles and in uh dev detours excuse me in the right direction so know that all the obstacles that you have been going through are only um you know pushing you towards um you know, pushing you towards the right path, the right direction that you're needing to go down. Don't let that, those obstacles weigh you down. Don't let them get you down because we all go through them. We all are challenged and uh, by the universe, they want us to learn. They want us to grow in each and everything that we do each and every day. So don't don't let those obstacles just, you know, defer you. Don't, don't let them, you know, make you go down the wrong path. Make sure that you, you're learning from them. You're, you know, you're hitting them head on, you're facing them, you're working through them, and then it's going to, you know, shoot you into the right direction, definitely. See me in their eyes. Whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, whether a human being, departed spirit, or a tree, always speak to the highest within them. To make such a difference, amen, the universe. This card has came out a lot lately so that um, is definitely a strong message that the universe is trying to give us all we have intention this is another card that's been coming out we just had the new moon um, yesterday which unfortunately I I mean I've been so like busy and just so wrapped up in all this all these obstacles that I've been trying to hurdle over and face and everything else I didn't even realize that until I was on the phone with this gal I met and she I met this beautiful person last night her name is Sun her first name is Sun and her last name is Ray which I think is awesome and we were just like I mean she brought chills throughout my body because my real name is Sunny and it, it just was fate it was it was universe connecting us and I hope to God that she has she found my channel because I told her about my channel she also is a tarot reader and she's also going to school to be a life coach so it was just you know it was fate it was just beautiful I made a new for I got the chills I made a new friend for life and I know it and what a beautiful what a beautiful connection and what a beautiful um, way for the universe for us to meet and I'll tell you I had a really rough day yesterday uh, and she, even though I, the reason why I called her is because another obstacle was thrown at me. She, by the time I was off the phone with her, I came back to my room. I um, went down to the vending machine and because I had some change to eat. So I ate some chips out of the vending machine. And um, that was my dinner, which is fine. I had something to eat. I had something to drink. And I went to bed. And I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh, that wasn't so bad. So, so you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. So anyways, you, our intentions were are typically to be set before the new, uh, the new moon, you know, right before the new moon. And then I always say before a full moon because I always set mine. But even though I didn't realize the new moon was last night, I mean, wasn't, even though I didn't realize the new moon was yesterday, last night, um, until Sunray told me. Uh, I am always setting intentions. I'm always, you know, trying to set my intentions throughout each day and throughout each, you know, week and month and so on and so on. So, but make sure that you do set your intentions before a new moon, definitely. Um, and then before a full moon, you know, it really helps us all out if you believe in all that. But anyways, intention. 
Intention is simple, allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all God's wishes for me come true. So allow that to happen. Allow your intentions and know that, you know, God is going to provide those to you and give you those. We have fear. I realize that I am being tested by resolve to live in the energy of love. And this card has came out in every reading I have done lately. So we're, we need to get away from fear. Fear is the work of the devil. If you believe in that or, you know, whatever your Whatever views that you have, that's my view. I mean, not everybody has to view things the way I do, but that's how I look at fear. And we all, you know, are fearful towards moving on. We're fearful to change. We're fearful to, is that person going to love me? Are they here to be sincere? Are they here, you know, and so on. We need to stop living in that fear and know, you know what, that person does love me. Why wouldn't that person love me? I'm great, you know, I'm fucking awesome, and so on and so on, so... We need to stop living in fear so much because that invites the devil in and we're not, you know, that's the darkness instead of the light. And we don't want that darkness. We want love and light always. I have the six of dragonflies in reverse. And this is new or a visit stirs up unwelcome memories. This is a time of struggle with the past and may bring relationship difficulties. Try to try not to dwell on what cannot be changed. And instead, look at how you can make positive inroads in the future. So don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on, you know, past mistakes and past hurts and, you know, things people have done to us in the past. Try to look at, you know, the present time today and into the future on how it's going to um, not be, excuse me, not be negative. It's going to be positive. We're going to be able to correct whatever mistakes Gosh, I'm sorry. Whatever mistakes we've made, we're going to be able to create that that harmony between our relationships. We're going to be able to release the fear and regret and all that shit, all that darkness out of our life so we can have unconditional love and, you know, really project that out into the world and to ourselves. So that's important. Uh, we have the Daughter of Swords and now we have the Daughter of Cups. So daughters are important in this reading, definitely, I think. Creative energy abounds from the Daughter of Cups. She's romantic, artistic, and easily inspired by her surroundings. A true dreamer by nature. She struggles to stay grounded or to deal with any harsh realities that come her way. Conflict of any kind is very disrupting to this gentle creature. And, you know, cups represent water signs, and I'm a water sign, and this definitely speaks of me in a sense but then so does the daughter of swords because even as a daughter you know you might not be the queen but you're still able to cut shit out of your life that is no longer serving you no longer you know providing anything that you know is helping you grow helping you become a better person become a loving person but you know the daughter of cups are you know they are sensitive they are not people that like conflict, that want to deal with people's bullshit and are they understanding to, to evilness and all that. No, they're not. But they're not stupid people. And that doesn't mean because they have emotions and they're loving and giving and so on that, you know what, they don't have strength and willpower and won't, you know, kick your ass if they need to. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Prosperity. So just know that, we, you know, you're going to be prosperous in whatever you are trying to achieve, whatever direction you're going towards. Um, it is going to bring prosperity into your life, you know. Um, just be wary of people that are trying to, you know, hone in on that prosperity, um, that are wanting to, to, to look at you and, and treat you like a daughter of cups, like, you know, you're naive and vulnerable and all that stuff, you know. Um, I think that you've been working through th those um, aspects of yourself. I know I have, you know, I've been taught some really hard lessons and really have had to deal with some shitty people to, to bring me to where I am at today. Um, Am I still sensitive? Very sensitive. And, you know, the, the more my heart chakra and the more my heart opens up, the more sensitive and, you know, the more I notice 
like the other day I could not figure out I'm like I have never cried this much in my life what is going on with me am I am I going through menopause you know I'm at 44 years old it, do I need you know, hormone pills what is it you know so on and so on and I'm like no my heart is opening up it's allowing myself to receive and feel and you know have those emotions that I've never allowed myself to have my whole entire life so it's not a bad thing being sensitive and loving and giving is not bad but you have to you know also have you know that sword in your hand you know ready to cut those you know fake and shitty people out of your life that are there not because they care about you not because they love you because of what you can give them and it's like you know what if they're not giving you anything and you're giving and giving and giving cut those fuckers out of there cut them out that's what you know spirit says spirit might not say fuck but you know i do so and y'all know anyways energy flows with my intention goes energy flows where excuse me if i could read energy flows where my intention goes so again atten intention brought up into this reading so set your intentions you know be you know firm and you know just really um when you set those intentions just believe and know that spirit's going to make those intentions you know come to light come true um you can you can count on spirit to to hear your intentions and to help you set them and to keep you um, working towards them and to, you know, plant those intentions, you know, firmly into your life. So, uh, convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Hi-ho, the universe. So you don't spend your time convincing other people about your decisions, about why you love this person or why this person means something to you or why you have decided to pick up and move across country. You don't, you, um, you don't need to explain to other people. Spend time convincing yourself not others who cares what joe blow down the street thinks you know it, we're not here to please everybody we're here to live this life and we're here to live a life that makes us feel fulfilled full and you know happy healthy and with unconditional love so despair i need your divine intercession right now oh great spirit lift this darkness from my soul free me from this burden Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. So release that despair. Ask the higher above to help you release, you know, the feelings that you, that, you know, create despair for each and every one of us. Ask, you know, your guides, your angels, your ancestors to help you to, to release that and to guide you down a new path that you're not, you don't have that despair feeling or you're not, that path isn't leading you to despair so and then the last uh, but not least card is failure and this has come up a million times lately too i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn know that we all have felt failure know that we've all made mistakes we do each and every day because we're not perfect we were never meant to be perfect we're never going to be perfect and as long as we know and we we <clears throat> recognize this and we recognize that you know we make mistakes and the reason why we have failure and we have to go through that and the reason why we um make mistakes is because we're we're human and that's how we learn that's how we grow and that's how we become better human beings and then you know through our failures and our mistakes we we also teach other people that, you know, it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay for, you know, us not to be um, looked at like the best, you know, person all the time. It's okay, you know, for us to not have been the best parent that, you know, that society might, you know, think that we, we needed to be or or how society says that a parent should be i'm just using that as an you know example but um 
it's okay that you know we failed in some certain way but it's it's not okay if we don't recognize that failure it's not okay if we don't recognize that we make mistakes and it's not okay if we don't try to correct them um, that's when that's when a failure is a failure um, to me I, I don't believe in failure you know I don't believe that we fail at anything I believe that we make a mistake and as long as we we recognize it as long as we work towards correcting it um, and you know making it better and we d we're not continuously making the same mistake you know over and over again that that is you know what what we're supposed to do that's how like I said we learn and we grow and we become these beautiful beings and it teaches us you know self-love self-respect it allows us to have love and respect for people all around us it allows us to be better people it allows us not to take advantage of people not to hurt people for our own you know pleasures um, to 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 lie and deceive and, you know, um, do things that just are not out of unconditional love. It teaches us and it teaches those around us to see when we make those mistakes that, you know what? Sure, they made a bad mistake. They did this. They did that. But we're not here to judge. But, you know, we see it. But we also see when they make the corrections to correct it and to make it right and to learn from it. And that's what, you know, that's what makes life so beautiful. That's what makes, you know, all the, the bumps in the road and all the obstacles that we're trying to hurdle over every single day of our fucking life, you know, um, just beautiful. And just we, we, we need to look at life just so much different than, you know, failures and mistakes and, you know, having something to talk about about you know did you hear what so and so did last night and oh my gosh and did you hear that they are just not a good mom and and are a dad or you know whatever their circumstances are or they have a drug problem or you know they're an alcoholic who are we to ever judge anybody and who are we to ever look at anyone's mistakes or failures as something to gossip about to make ourselves feel better. We're not, because you know what? In the eyes of God, in the eyes of the divine, the universe, you know, this world, you're the one, if you're doing that, that is being judged. You're the one that is going to have to deal with the karma from being so heartless and just mean and cruel. Um, oh, this world, just, it breaks my heart. Um, we, we, we truly need to stop doing that to people. That person's going through enough because of that mistake or that failure. That person doesn't need the whole world to be piling all their, their judgments and all their gossip and all their bullshit on top of what they're already going through. We need love and understanding and, you know, to be reaching out our hand to be like, you know, is there anything I can do to help you? Is there, you know, if you need something, please let me know. Not, you know, sitting at the bar drinking and gossiping about somebody getting a DUI. Well, when you drink, you don't make very good decisions. Obviously, because you're sitting at a bar drinking, um, being an asshole, talking about somebody else's mistakes. You know, look in the mirror. Judge yourself. Don't judge anyone else. Because you know what? We have no right to judge anyone else. Only the higher above has the right to judge anyone. And by you doing that, meaning that you thinking that you have the power to judge someone else or to talk about somebody else's mistakes makes you not a very good person, but it also is bringing and building karma up and you sitting there drinking, you might drink too much, make a bad decision and get in your vehicle and drive home and get pulled over and end up in the same situation as the person you were just talking about. So please remember that. Please try to do everything from kindness and understanding and unconditional love. That's what we need is unconditional love. Anyways, enough of me lecturing. Everybody have a great rest of your day. I love you all so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you would. If you'd hit that like button, like button, and hit the subscribe button, and then also hit the bell notification, so then you are notified when I do um, uh, post videos, which I post a couple times a day. Uh, sometimes they take all day and they don't post till the next day, but I'm always posting videos. Um, and I just want to thank 
each and every one of you for watching my videos and for making this happen for me. I love you all so much. Remember to do something kind for somebody today because we all need kindness and love. And we all need to hear that people are thinking of us and love us because some of us don't get that. So much love, peace, positive vibes, healing, and happiness and joy. Take care.